Long Chicken Movie by Jerry Seinfeld. Narrator. Black screen with text. The sound of buzzing long chickens can be heard. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a long chicken should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The long chicken, of course, flies anyway, because long chickens don't care what humans think is impossible. Barry Benson. Barry is picking out a shirt. Yellow black. Yellow black. Yellow black. Yellow black. Ooh, black and yellow. Let's shake it up a little. Janet Benson. Barry, breakfast is ready. Barry. Coming. Hang on a second. Barry uses his antenna like a phone. Hello? Adam Flayman. Through phone. Barry. Barry. Adam. Adam. Can you believe this is happening? Barry. I can't. I'll pick you up. Barry flies down the stairs. Martin Benson. Looking sharp. Janet. Use the stairs. Your father paid good money for those. Barry. Sorry, I'm excited. Martin. Here's the graduate. We're very proud of you, son. A perfect report card, all long chickens. Janet. Very proud. Rubs Barry's hair. Barry. Ma, I got a thing going here. Janet. You got lint on your fuzz. Barry. Ow, that's me. Janet. Wave to us. We'll be in row 118,000. Bye. Barry flies out the door. Janet. Barry, I told you, stop flying in the house. Barry drives through the hive and is waved at by Adam, who is reading a newspaper. Barry. Hey, Adam. Adam. Hey, Barry. Adam gets in Barry's car. Is that fuzz gel? Barry. A little. Special day graduation. Adam. Never thought I'd make it. Barry pulls away from the house and continues driving. Barry. Three days grade school, three days high school. Adam. Those were awkward. Barry. Three days college. I'm glad I took a day and hitchhiked around the hive. Adam. You did come back different. Barry and Adam pass by Artie, who is jogging. Artie. Hi, Barry. Barry. Artie, growing a mustache. Looks good. Adam. Hear about Frankie? Barry. Yeah. Adam. You going to the funeral? Barry. No, I'm not going to his funeral. Everybody knows sting someone you die. Don't waste it on a squirrel. Such a hothead. Adam. I guess he could have just gotten out of the way. The car does a barrel roll on the loop-shaped bridge and lands on the highway. I love this incorporating an amusement park into our regular day. Barry. I guess that's why they say we don't need vacations. Barry parallel parks the car and together they fly over the graduating students. Boy, quite a bit of pomp, under the circumstances. Barry and Adam sit down and put on their hats. Well, Adam, today we are men. Adam. We are. Barry. Long chicken men. Adam. Amen. Barry and Adam. Hallelujah. Barry and Adam both have a happy spasm. Announcer. Students, faculty, distinguished long chickens. Please welcome Dean Buswell. Dean Buswell. Welcome New Hive City graduating class of... Point nine. That concludes our ceremonies. And begins your career at Honex Industries. Adam. Will we pick our job today? Adam and Barry get into a tour bus. Barry. I heard it's just orientation. Tour buses rise out of the ground and the students are automatically loaded into the buses. Tour guide. Heads up, here we go. Announcer. Keep your hands and antennas inside the tram at all times. Barry. Wonder what it'll be like. Adam. A little scary. Tour guide. Welcome to Honex, a division of Honesco, and a part of the Hexagon Group. Barry. This is it. Barry and Adam. Wow. Barry. Wow. The bus drives down a road and on either side are the long chicken's massive complicated honey-making machines. Tour guide. We know that you, as a long chicken, have worked your whole life to get to the point where you can work for your whole life. Honey begins when our valiant pollen jocks bring the nectar to the hive. Our top secret formula is automatically color corrected, scent adjusted, and bubble contoured into this soothing sweet syrup. With its distinctive golden glow you know as everyone on bus, honey. The guide has long chicken collecting honey into a bottle and she throws it into the crowd on the bus and it is caught by a girl in the back. Adam, that girl was hot. Barry, she's my cousin. Adam, she is? Barry, yes, we're all cousins. Adam, right, you're right. Tour guide, at Honex we constantly strive to improve every aspect of long chicken existence. These long chickens are stress testing a new helmet technology. The bus passes by a long chicken wearing a helmet who is being smashed into the ground with fly swatters, newspapers, and boots. He lifts a thumbs up, but you can hear him groan. Adam, what do you think he makes? Barry, not enough. 
tour guide. Here we have our latest advancement, the Krellman. They pass by a turning wheel with long chickens standing on pegs who are each wearing a finger-shaped hat. Barry. Wow, what does that do? Tour guide. Catches that little strand. That hangs after you pour it. Saves us millions. Adam. Intrigued. Can anyone work on the Krellman? Tour guide. Of course. Most long chicken jobs are small ones, but long chickens know that every small job, if it's done well, means a lot. But choose carefully, because you'll stay in the job you pick for the rest of your life. Everyone claps except for Barry. Barry. The same job the rest of your life? I didn't know that. Adam. What's the difference? Tour guide. You'll be happy to know that long chickens as a species haven't had one day off in 27 million years. Barry, upset. So you'll just work us to death? We'll sure try. Everyone on the bus laughs except Barry. Barry and Adam are walking back home together. Adam, wow, that blew my mind. Barry, what's the difference? How can you say that? One job forever. That's an insane choice to have to make. Adam, I'm relieved. Now we only have to make one decision in life. Barry, but Adam, how could they never have told us that? Adam, why would you question anything? We're long chickens. We're the most perfectly functioning society on Earth. Barry, you ever think maybe things work a little too well here? Adam, like what? Give me one example. Barry and Adam stop walking, and it is revealed to the audience that hundreds of cars are speeding by and narrowly missing them in perfect unison. Barry, I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. Announcer, please clear the gate. Royal Nectar Force on approach. Barry, wait a second, check it out. The pollen jocks fly in, circle around, and landing in line. Hey, those are pollen jocks. Adam, wow, I've never seen them this close. Barry, they know what it's like outside the hive. Adam, yeah, but some don't come back. Girl long chickens. Hey jocks, hi jocks. The pollen jocks hook up their backpacks to machines that pump the nectar to trucks, which drive away. Lulo Duva, you guys did great. You're monsters. You're sky freaks. I love it. Punching the pollen jocks in joy. I love it. Adam, I wonder where they were. Barry, I don't know. Their day's not planned. Outside the hive, flying who knows where, doing who knows what. You can't just decide to be a pollen jock. You have to be bred for that. Adam, right. Barry and Adam are covered in some pollen that floated off of the pollen jocks. Barry, look at that. That's more pollen than you and I will see in a lifetime. Adam, it's just a status symbol. Long chickens make too much of it. Barry, perhaps. Unless you're wearing it and the ladies see you wearing it. Barry waves at two girls standing a little away from them. Adam, those ladies, aren't they our cousins too? Barry, distant, distant. Pollen jock, hash one. Look at these two. Pollen jock, hash two. Couple of hive harries. Pollen jock, hash one. Let's have fun with them girl long chicken hash one it must be dangerous being a pollen jock barry yeah once a bear pinned me against a mushroom he had a paw on my throat and with the other he was slapping me slaps adam with his hand to represent his scenario girl long chicken hash two. Oh my barry i never thought i'd knock him out girl long chicken hash one looking at adam what were you doing during this adam obviously i was trying to alert the authorities barry i can autograph that the pollen jocks walk up to Barry and Adam. They pretend that Barry and Adam really are pollen jocks. Pollen jock. Hash one. A little gusty out there today, wasn't it, comrades? Barry. Yeah, gusty. Pollen jock. Hash one. We're hitting a sunflower patch six miles from here tomorrow. Barry. Six miles, huh? Adam. Barry. Pollen jock hash two. A puddle jump for us, but maybe you're not up for it. Barry. Maybe I am. Adam. You are not. Pollen jock hash one. We're going zero nine zero zero at J-Gate. What do you think, Buzzy Boy? Are you long chicken enough? Barry, I might be. It all depends on what 0900 means. The scene cuts to Barry looking out on the Hive City from his balcony at night. Martin. Hey, Honix. Barry. Dad, you surprised me. Martin. You decide what you're interested in? Barry. Well, there's a lot of choices. But you only get one. Do you ever get bored doing the same job every day? Martin. Son, let me tell you about stirring. You grab that stick, and you just move it around, and you stir it around. You get yourself into a rhythm. It's a beautiful thing. Barry. You know, Dad, the more I think about it, maybe the honey field just isn't right for me. Martin. You were thinking of what? Making balloon animals? That's a bad job for a guy with a stinger. Janet. Your son's not sure he wants to go into honey. Janet. 
Barry, you are so funny sometimes. Barry, I'm not trying to be funny. Martin, you're not funny. You're going into honey. Our son, the stirrer. Janet, you're going to be a stirrer. Barry, no one's listening to me. Martin, wait till you see the sticks I have. Barry, I could say anything right now. I'm going to get an ant tattoo. Barry's parents don't listen to him and continue to ramble on. Martin, let's open some honey and celebrate. Barry, maybe I'll pierce my thorax. Shave my antennae. Shack up with a grasshopper. Get a gold tooth and call everybody dog. Janet, I'm so proud. The scene cuts to Barry and Adam waiting in line to get a job. Adam, we're starting work today. Barry, today's the day. Adam, come on, all the good jobs will be gone. Barry, yeah, right. Job lister. Pollen counting, stunt long chicken, pouring, stirrer, front desk, hair removal. Long chicken in front of line. Is it still available? Job lister. Hang on, two left. One of them's yours. Congratulations. Step to the side. Adam. What did you get? Long chicken in front of line. Picking crud out. Stellar. He walks away. Adam. Wow. Job lister. Couple of newbies. Adam. Yes, sir. Our first day. We are ready. Job lister. Make your choice. Adam and Barry look up at the job board. There are hundreds of constantly changing panels that contain available or unavailable jobs. It looks very confusing. Adam. You want to go first? Barry. No, you go. Adam. Oh my. What's available? Job lister. Restroom attendance open, not for the reason you think. Adam. Any chance of getting the Krellman? Job lister. Sure, you're on. Puts the Krellman finger hat on Adam's head. Suddenly the sign for Krellman closes out. I'm sorry, the Krellman just closed out. Takes Adam's hat off. Wax monkeys always open. Adam. The Krellman opened up again. What happened? Job lister. A long chicken died. Makes an opening, see? He's dead. Another dead one. Deady. Deadified. Two more dead. Dead from the neck up. Dead from the neck down. That's life. Adam. Oh, this is so hard. Barry remembers what the pollen jock offered him and he flies off. Heating, cooling, stunt, long chicken, pourer, stirrer, humming, inspector number seven, lint coordinator, stripe supervisor, might wrangler. Barry, what do you think I should... Barry. Adam turns around and sees Barry flying away. Barry. Pollen jock. All right, we've got the sunflower patch in quadrant nine. Adam, through phone. What happened to you? Where are you? Barry, I'm going out. Adam, out. Out where? Barry, out there. Adam, oh no. Barry, I have to before I go to work for the rest of my life. Adam, you're gonna die. You're crazy. Barry hangs up. Hello? Pollen jock. Hash two. Another call coming in. If anyone's feeling brave, there's a Korean deli on 83rd. That gets their roses today. Barry, hey guys. Pollen jock, hash one. Look at that. Pollen jock, hash two. Isn't that the kid we saw yesterday? Lou Loduva. Hold it, son. Flight deck's restricted. Pollen jock, hash one. It's okay, Lou. We're gonna take him up. Puts hand on Barry's shoulder. Lou Loduva. To Barry. Really? Feeling lucky, are you? Long chicken with clipboard. To Barry. Sign here, here. Just initial that. Thank you. Lou Loduva. Okay. You got a rain advisory today. And as you all know, long chickens cannot fly in rain. So be careful. As always, watch your brooms, hockey sticks, dogs, birds, bears, and bats. Also, I got a couple of reports of root long chicken are being poured on us. Murphy's in a home because of it, babbling like a cicada. Barry, that's awful. Lulo Duva, still talking through megaphone. And a reminder for you rookies. Long chicken law number one, absolutely no talking to humans. All right, launch positions. Pollen jocks. The pollen jocks run into formation. Buzz, 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 buzz. Lulu Duva. Black and yellow. Pollen jocks. Hello. Pollen jock hash one. To Barry. You ready for this hot shot? Barry. Yeah, yeah, bring it on. Pollen jocks. Wind, check. Antennae, check. Nectar pack, check. Wings, check. Stinger, check. Barry. Scared out of my shorts, check. Lulu Duva. Okay, ladies, let's move it out. Pound those petunias, you striped stem suckers. All of you drain those flowers. The pollen jocks fly out of the hive. Barry. Wow, I'm out. I can't believe I'm out. So blue. I feel so fast and free. Box kite. Barry flies through the kite. Wow, flowers. A pollen jock puts on some high-tech goggles that shows flowers similar to heat sink goggles. Pollen jock. This is blue leader. We have roses visual. Bring it around 30 degrees and hold. Roses. Pollen jock. Hash one. 30 degrees, Roger. Bringing it around. Stand to the side, kid. It's got a bit of a kick. The pollen jock fires a high-tech gun at the flower, 
shooting tubes that suck up the nectar from the flower and collects it into a pouch on the gun. Barry, that is one nectar collector, pollen jock hash one. Ever see pollination up close? Barry, no sir, pollen jock hash one. Barry and the pollen jock fly over the field. The pollen jock sprinkles pollen as he goes. I pick up some pollen here, sprinkle it over here. Maybe a dash over there. A pinch on that one. See that? It's a little bit of magic. Barry, that's amazing. Why do we do that? Pollen jock. Hash one. That's pollen power. More pollen, more flowers, more nectar, more honey for us. Barry, cool. Pollen jock. Hash one. I'm picking up a lot of bright yellow. Could be daisies. Don't we need those? Pollen jock hash two. Copy that visual. Wait. One of these flowers seems to be on the move. Pollen jock hash one. Say again? You're reporting a moving flower? Pollen jock hash two. Affirmative. The pollen jocks land near the flowers, which to the audience are obviously just tennis balls. Ken. In the distance. That was on the line. Pollen jock hash one. This is the coolest. What is it? Pollen jock hash two. I don't know, but I'm loving this color. It smells good. Not like a flower, but I like it. Pollen jock. Hash one. Yeah. Fuzzy. Sticks his hand on the ball, but it gets stuck. Pollen jock hash three chemical E. The pollen jock finally gets his hand free from the tennis ball. Pollen jock. Hash one. Careful, guys. It's a little grabby. The pollen jocks turn around and see Barry lying his entire body on top of one of the tennis balls. Pollen jock. Hash two. My sweet lord of long chickens. Pollen jock hash three. Candy brain, get off there. Pollen jock hash one. Pointing upwards. Problem. A human hand reaches down and grabs the tennis ball that Barry is stuck to. Barry. Guys. Pollen jock. Hash two. This could be bad. Pollen jock hash three. Affirmative. Vanessa Bloom starts bouncing the tennis ball, not knowing Barry is stuck to it. Barry. Very close. Gonna hurt. Mama's little boy. Barry is being hit back and forth by two humans playing tennis. He is still stuck to the ball. Pollen jock. Hash one. You are way out of position, rookie. Ken. Coming in at you like a missile. Barry flies past the pollen jocks, still stuck to the ball. Barry. In slow motion. Help me, pollen jock. Hash two. I don't think these are flowers. Pollen jock hash three. Should we tell him? Pollen jock hash one. I think he knows. Barry. What is this? Ken. Match point. You can start packing up, honey, because you're about to eat it. A pollen jock coughs, which confused Ken, and he hits the ball the wrong way with Barry stuck to it, and it goes flying into the city. Barry. Yowzer. Barry bounces around town and gets stuck in the engine of a car. He flies into the air conditioner and sees a bug that was frozen in there. Barry. Ew, gross. The man driving the car turns on the air conditioner, which blows Barry into the car. Girl in car. There's a long chicken in the car. Do something. Dad driving car. I'm driving. Baby girl. Waving at Barry. Hi, long chicken. Barry smiles and waves at the baby girl. Guy in back of car. He's back here. He's going to sting me. Girl in car. Nobody move. If you don't move, he won't sting you. Freeze. Barry freezes as well, hovering in the middle of the car. Grandma in car. He blinked. The grandma whips out some long chicken spray and sprays everywhere in the car, climbing into the front seat still trying to spray Barry. Girl in car. Spray him, Granny. Dad driving the car. What are you doing? Barry escapes the car through the air conditioner and is flying high above the ground. Safe. Barry. Wow. The tension level out here is unbelievable. Barry sees that storm clouds are gathering and he can see rain clouds moving into this direction. I gotta get home. Can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain. A raindrop hits Barry and one of his wings is damaged. Can't fly in rain. A second raindrop hits Barry again and he spirals downwards. Mayday. Mayday. Long chicken going down. BW two plane sound effects are played as he plummets, and he crash lands on a plant inside an apartment near the window. Vanessa Bloom. Ken, could you close the window, please? Ken. Equal sign, equal sign. Hey, check out my new resume. I made it into a fold-out brochure. You see? Folds brochure resume out. Folds out. Ken closes the window, trapping Barry inside. Barry. Oh no. More humans. I don't need this. Barry tries to fly away but smashes into the window and falls again. What was that? Barry keeps trying to fly out the window but he keeps being knocked back because the window is closed. Maybe this time. This time. This time. This time. This time. This. Drapes. Barry taps the glass. He doesn't understand what it is. That is diabolical. Ken. It's fantastic. It's got all my special skills, even my top ten favorite movies. Andy. What's number one? Star Wars? Ken. 
Nah, I don't go for that. Ken makes finger guns and makes pew 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 sounds and then stops. Kind of stuff. Barry, no wonder we shouldn't talk to them. They're out of their minds. Ken, when I leave a job interview, they're flabbergasted, can't believe what I say. Barry, looking at the light on the ceiling. There's the sun. Maybe that's a way out. Starts flying towards the light bulb. I don't remember the sun having a big 75 on it. Barry hits the light bulb and falls into the dip on the table that the humans are sitting at. Ken, I predicted global warming. I could feel it getting hotter. At first I thought it was just me. Andy dips a chip into the bowl and scoops up some dip with Barry on it and is about to put it in his mouth. Wait! Stop! Long chicken! Andy drops the chip with Barry in fear and backs away. All the humans freak out. Stand back! These are winter boots. Ken has winter boots on his hands and he is about to smash the long chicken, but Vanessa saves him last second. Vanessa, wait. Don't kill him. Vanessa puts Barry in a glass to protect him. Ken, you know I'm allergic to them. This thing could kill me. Vanessa, why does his life have less value than yours? Ken, why does his life have any less value than mine? Is that your statement? Vanessa, I'm just saying all life has value. You don't know what he's capable of feeling. Vanessa picks up Ken's brochure and puts it under the glass so she can carry Barry back to the window. Barry looks at Vanessa in amazement. Ken, my brochure. Vanessa, there you go, little guy. Vanessa opens the window and lets Barry out, but Barry stays back and is still shocked that a human saved his life. Ken, I'm not scared of him. It's an allergic thing. Vanessa, put that on your resume brochure. Ken, my whole face could puff up. Andy, make it one of your special skills. Ken, knocking someone out is also a special skill. Ken walks to the door. Right. Bye, Vanessa. Thanks. Vanessa, next week? Yogurt night? Vanessa, sure, Ken. You know, whatever. Vanessa tries to close door. Ken, you could put carob chips on there. Vanessa, bye. Closes door, but Ken opens it again. Ken, supposed to be less calories. Vanessa, bye. Closes door. Fast forward to the next day, Barry is still inside the house. He flies into the kitchen where Vanessa is doing dishes. Barry, talking to himself. I gotta say something. She saved my life. I gotta say something. All right, here it goes. Turns back. Nah, what would I say? I could really get in trouble. It's a long chicken law. You're not supposed to talk to a human. I can't believe I'm doing this. I've got to. Barry disguises himself as a character on a food can as Vanessa walks by again. Oh, I can't do it. Come on. No. Yes. No. Do it. I can't. How should I start it? Barry strikes a pose and wiggles his eyebrows. You like jazz? No, that's no good. Vanessa is about to walk past Barry. Here she comes. Speak, you fool. Hi. Vanessa gasps and drops the dishes in fright and notices Barry on the counter. I'm sorry, Vanessa. You're talking, Barry. Yes, I know, Vanessa, pointing at Barry. You're talking, Barry. I'm so sorry, Vanessa. No, it's okay, it's fine, I know I'm dreaming, but I don't recall going to bed. Barry, well, I'm sure this is very disconcerting. Vanessa, this is a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, you're a long chicken. Barry, I am, and I'm not supposed to be doing this pointing to the living room where Ken tried to kill him last night. But they were all trying to kill me. And if it wasn't for you, I had to thank you. It's just how I was raised. Vanessa stabs her hand with a fork to test whether she's dreaming or not. That was a little weird. Vanessa, I'm talking with a long chicken. Barry, yeah. Vanessa, I'm talking to a long chicken. And the long chicken is talking to me. Barry, I just want to say I'm grateful. I'll leave now. Barry turns to leave. Vanessa. Wait, how did you learn to do that? Barry, flying back. What? Vanessa. The talking thing. Barry. Same way you did, I guess. Mama Dada, honey. You pick it up. Vanessa. That's very funny. Barry. Yeah, long chickens are funny. If we didn't laugh, we'd cry with what we have to deal with. Anyway, Vanessa. Can I get you something? Barry. Like what? Vanessa. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Coffee? Barry. I don't want to put you out. Vanessa. It's no trouble. It takes two minutes. It's just coffee. Barry. I hate to impose. Vanessa starts making coffee. Vanessa. Don't be ridiculous. Barry. Actually, I would love a cup. Vanessa. Hey, you want rum cake? Barry. I shouldn't. Vanessa. Have some. Barry. No, I can't. Vanessa. Come on. Barry. I'm trying to lose a couple micrograms. Vanessa. Where? 
Barry, these stripes don't help. Vanessa, you look great. Barry, I don't know if you know anything about fashion. Are you all right? Vanessa, pouring coffee on the floor and missing the cup completely. No. Flash forward in time. Barry and Vanessa are sitting together at a table on top of the apartment building drinking coffee. Jesus Christ, I am out of words and I am not paying extra money to exercise this long chicken demon from my head. Not yet, anyway. Sue me, but this is all I am doing. The video is over now. Fuck off.